India's best selling quarter liter bike has just gotten a facelift. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about the KTM Duke 250. We recently got to see the KTM Duke 390 and we were very impressed. So it's time to see its younger sibling. What are the differences between the 390 and the Duke 250? And what are the differences between the new gen and the old gen Duke 250? All to find out in today's episode of Upshift. Let's talk about what's new in the new generation Duke 250. Compared to the old Duke 250, this is a brand new bike. It pretty much doesn't share most of its stuff. The brand new trellis frame is shared with the new generation of Duke 390. The engine is a kg lighter, has a higher compression ratio, comes with one more PS and one more newton meter of torque and it's also one kg lighter. The entire bike overall is eight kgs lighter than its outgoing model because of newer wheels, uh, the lighter shape of the trellis frame and uh, lighter parts. The tank is now bigger. Instead of a 13 and a half litre tank like you got in the previous generation, you get the 15 litre tank that you get in the new generation with the Duke 390. And the airbox is slightly bigger. The radiator is 10% bigger, letting you cool the engine a bit quicker. However, that's not the end. You've got a quick shifter plus that works pretty seamlessly at higher RPMs. However, at lower RPMs, it's still a little clunky. And uh, the rear suspension is now offset for you to get a smaller seat height. In terms of what's different to the KTM Duke 390 in the same platform, you don't have the uh, aggressive air vent on the side panel. The rear suspension is only 10 step adjustable, it's not completely adjustable and the front has no adjustments. All in all, the Duke 250 in terms of design makes the newer buyer feel like he's doing an upgrade because the Duke 390 and the Duke 250 don't have much of a difference. They still look super outlandish anywhere they go and the only difference is that there is a small vent in the Duke 390 right here on the side panel which the Duke 250 doesn't get. The screen is now a 5-inch LCD screen that's black and white, still giving you most of the options you'd get from the colourful TFT display that you would get in the KTM Duke 390. You still got mobile connectivity uh, and ABS modes with super motor mode, of course. So, all in all, there is quite a lot packing in the bike. And compared to its old outgoing generation, this has quite a lot of more goodies. And it is very impressive that the bike still comes out at 2.39 lakh rupees. There is no difference in change of the price. Very commendable. The Duke 250 brings all of the agility and adrenaline of its elder sibling into a smaller, more tameable 250cc package. What I mean by that is that the 250 is still an exhilarating ride, but it doesn't require the kind of expertise needed with its elder sibling to extract all of what the bike has to offer, making the 250 a much better proposition for a rider upgrading from a smaller CC bike or even for a new rider that wants to have a proper performance bike under their bum. The latest Gen LC4C 250cc liquid-cooled single-cylinder mill is good for 31 horses and 25 Nm of torque that is delivered through a 6-speed manual gearbox with a quick shifter. The new block delivers its power rather smoothly compared to its predecessor with slightly better performance and refinement on the bottom end of the rev range. This is partly because of the taller gear ratios and the new state of tune of the engine compared to the previous Gen bike. In the throttle and the Duke 250 accelerates in proper Duke fashion all the way up to its rev limit. Pair this with its 8kg diet and the new 250 feels like a completely different animal to its previous generation. It's faster, more nimble and most importantly, less scary. The ride height has dropped to a manageable 800mm and the handlebars are now slightly wider, giving more steering leverage to the rider. The 10-step preload adjustable rear shock once set up how you like it, feels pretty well poised and since it is essentially the same frame as the Duke 390s, it also shares the same athletic traits.
The Duke 250 drops anchor in a sure-footed manner thanks to the 320mm disc for the front and the 240mm disc in the rear. Under heavy braking, the front brake provides great feedback through the lever while the 43mm front shocks dampen the weight transfer progressively. The rear disc is 10mm larger now which has improved the rear braking performance by a bit but in my opinion most of the braking duties are dependent on the front considering the amount of stopping power you get from only the rear. Additionally, you now get super motor mode in the new gen Duke 250 which allows you to switch off the rear ABS. All in all, the Duke 250 is a great bike to ride and for all those who might argue that the Dukes are getting soft, yes, they are, but in the right way. The new generation Duke 250 promises to be more accessible to the rider, providing the same thrill and speed in a well-rounded package that caters not only to the unhinged junkies, but also to a city rider that would like to add some adrenaline to his commute. And the new gen Duke 250 hits that spot just right. The KTM Duke 250's tame attributes and predictable nature make it a really nice entry for anybody that wants to jump from a 150cc bike or even is in search for their first ever performance derived bike. The Duke 250 is much more tameable compared to the Duke 390. The Duke 390 always had that air of, ooh, what's going to happen next? And you needed a little bit of expertise in order to extract all of the juices. The Duke 250 though, if you're a novice, this will definitely take care of you. It's got a lot of tech and a lot of balance onto it. I for one fell in love with this bike in 24 hours and I can't wait to get a long termer for a while. So do let us know your thoughts on the new generation Duke 250 and would you pick this over any of its competition which is quite a lot currently. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Bhavmi Vaswani. I'll see you guys in the next one.